made just enough plays offensively, how would you kind of assess the defense overall? Um, they obviously were pretty short-handed, but also very scrappy. Right. How would you kind of assess their play in your counters? Uh, they played well. They, they did enough to, to pull the game out. Um, I think as a defense, we got to really rally behind each other and focus on making that making that extra play. Like, I think a big thing for us is uh, making the extra play, going the extra extra mile for this team. Uh, um, and all we can do is pick ourselves up and, and fight back next week. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, were you down the ball on the one on the uh, punt? And correct. it looked like that was going to be a big play. And then right. I think they drove 99 yards. Did that feel kind of a little bit like a backbreaker because you feel like maybe you got some momentum and then they – that. Right. Yeah. I mean, as a as a defense, you get them pinned back at the one. We gotta we gotta hold them there. Uh, keep the ball in good field position for our offense, and we just failed to do that tonight. So that's something we gotta watch the film on, make the corrections, and come back next week stronger. Hey, Alex, on your left over here. Um, there was those formations where they had like four linemen out wide, right. and the defense. How do you assess that in the moment, and how do you react to that? And do you think that kind of caused you guys some trouble as a defense to play around? Uh, I think I think it caught us off guard a little bit, but as the game progressed, we kind of we kind of uh, caught on ourselves. I think it's with any game you go into a, as a defensive team, as a defensive player, you you have to just wait and react to see what the offense is going to do. You never know what they're going to come out in, um, and we, I mean, got to give them credit. Uh, they came out in a lot of funky formations, a lot of chaos, uh, caused us a little bit of trouble, but just another thing we got to work on. Hey, uh, as for the defense, like when you see the running back tied in, lining up as a tight uh, quarterback, right. and then even throwing the ball, like, uh, like you know, what is the mindset of you guys uh, when it comes to attacking that? You know, because you, you you see a running back back there, you're like, okay, it's a wildcat, they're right. gonna find a way to run. But when they're actually throwing, like, how do you guys uh, get yourself set and ready for something like that? I mean, going into going into a game where you you get a team that runs a lot of wildcat, a lot of uh, crazy formations, you got to be prepared for the idea of them possibly throwing the ball. I mean, the tight end uh, played a little quarterback in high school. The running back is obviously an athlete; he can he can throw the ball. So, uh, just having that in the back of your mind. I mean, we were prepared for that. Uh, we just needed to make an extra play. Alex. Um, you know, what is the mood in the locker room and, you know, what do you say to, to, to guys after a tough loss like this? I mean, it's tough. You, you, uh, you obviously want to back, bounce back, especially after last week, and you, you come into this one, another scrappy team, another dog five, and it was going to be a tough game, uh, and a thing doesn't, doesn't uh, swing your way. But, I mean, the great thing about this sport is it's a complete team sport. Uh, you, you're down when you, you're down, but when you're up, you're up. You do this. You do those things as a team, and um, I think we really just got to focus on rallying behind one another. Um, things can be tough right now, but adversity is, is something that can either make or break you. Um, so this team has a little adversity, but I, I believe fully in this in this program and the staff and the players that will push through and and, um, and conquer. Hey, piggybacking off that, you got your final rivalry game coming up next week. All right. Um, what do you need to do to make sure the team stays in the right mindset going into that game and not letting these two losses snowball into that? Right. It's just, I mean, why not be a clean slate? Like, we've got nothing to lose. We've got nothing, nothing to hold back. Uh, just go into next week and let it all hang out. Like, just let loose. We've got zero, zero to lose and just let it all, let it all hang out. Alex, you guys are getting ready to go against the Rainer Heisman Trophy winner. How do you prepare uh, for Caleb Williams? Uh, a lot of film. You know, he's a great player, makes great decisions on the field, very elusive in the backfield. Uh, a lot of film study. I mean, looking at what he's looking at, if he's if he's seeing my my alignment in the in the slot, um, looking at the formations, a lot of uh, spread, widespread formations, two by two, three by one. So. A lot of film study, uh, asking a lot of questions, seeing what my coaches are seeing, um, communicating with our, our linebackers, our other DBs, the corners, um, just making sure we're all on the same page so we can go out there and make plays and get stops. Over here. Um, after last week's loss, some players on defense were saying that things felt a little bit disunified. Um, I know it was another loss tonight, but do you feel like you guys kind of took a step forward in something like that? or? How are you feeling about the status of the unity of the defense? Uh, I think the defense is all right. We're, we're a tough-knit unit. Uh, 
with within any family there'll be there'll be strife there'll be fights but at the end of the day you come together and you you're a unit you're a team and uh we really got a great brotherhood we got a great family and uh we stick behind each other like no matter what we've got each other's backs um win or loss um we just we just try to come out and do our best every day thanks thank you